I want to start by welcoming the families, colleagues, and friends of those lost four years ago. And I'd like to also acknowledge the elected officials and members of the community in attendance for an elected officials. Oh, we've got a lot. We have Delegate Dana Jones, County Councilwoman uh, Allison Pickard, County Councilwoman Lisa Rodvian, Alderwoman Ellie Tierney, Sheriff Jim Fredericks, Mayor Gavin Buckley, and County Executive Stuart Pittman. Welcome. Sarah? Oh, there you are. And State Senator Sarah Elfrith. I'd also like to acknowledge our public safety team, uh, some of whom responded to the Capitol Gazette four years ago, uh, and they're here, police and fire. So thank you. I just want to acknowledge today that we are sending a lot of love and healing thoughts to Paul Gillespie, who just underwent a major medical procedure. He's home and recovering, and we love you, Paul. Uh, the ceremony here at the Guardian's Memorial will be a simple, oh, here we go, we have also Congressman John Sarbanes. Uh, the ceremony here at the Guardian's Memorial will be simple, a simple remembrance. Uh, as a way to honor the victims uh, while honoring their families. We know how difficult today is. We plan to return to City Hall for refreshments and the unveiling of a new piece of artwork that was donated to City Hall. So we invite everyone to return to City Hall and, and join us after this event. Um, when we get back to City Hall, we'll have elected officials can make remarks as well as anyone that wants to share remembrances. So. Here at the Guardian's Memorial, which was dedicated one year ago today, we gather together to remember Rebecca Smith, Wendy Winters, Rob Hyacin, Gerald Fishman, and John McNamara. The Annapolis Poet Laureate Maggie Benshaw, who couldn't be with us today, uh, penned words to mark this occasion. And William Rowell from the Mayor's Office will read that poem now. It's called Listen. Well. When we heard of another tragedy, tears welled in our eyes. Will, they stand up this time and hear our cries. The ones in power hold it over our heads. They preach madness and money. Our children lie dead as we sit and, and stew, questioning what is true. Still demanding for all of this to stop. Thank you. Thank you, Will. I'd now like to invite Mayor Gavin Buckley and County Executive Stuart Pittman up to lay the wreath. I'd like to invite you now to take a moment of silence in remembrance of the victims of the Capitol Gazette and in gun violence in our community. If anybody needs to say something from the Capitol, Truly would appreciate this. This is every year we don't know what to do, but if any of you need to say something, please. None of us know what to say. You'd think with all this practice, we would know what to say, not just for our band of brothers and sisters, but all around the country. Um, I want to thank you for coming. 
and I want to urge you to vote. Thank you all for coming. I'm here for my husband, Paul Gillespie. He couldn't be here today. He's recovering from major open heart surgery. Um, we really appreciate all the support that we've received over the past four years. It means more than you'll ever know. Um, as a request to the media, please stop showing the gunman's face. Please stop saying his name. It's very painful to constantly see it everywhere, every time there's one of these events. The focus of today's event should be on Wendy, Gerald, Rob, Rebecca, and John. Please say their names first. Thank you. We'll go ahead and make our way up to City Hall, where we'll have additional time to share remarks and remembrances. Thank you. But first of all, we'd like to thank the artist, Mark Pereira, who will give you a little background um, on uh, his donation of this piece to the city, um, please. Um, so I made this um, basically the day after the, um, the event happened, and um, Wendy Winters was such a um, like a good friend to um, to the community, and um, unfortunately, I never got to meet the other four. But even if I didn't meet them, just by the um, by what I saw and the outpour of support for all of them, um, I was moved, and I made this tribute to them. Um, I painted it with um, with uh, smoke. It has a certain, um, I guess, uh, connection to what happened. Gun smoke. This is like the aftermath of of what happened, and. Um, yeah, um, we had a show at 49 West uh, a few months later, and um, it was called Love Annapolis. And it was, I donated this um, with all proceeds going to the Capitol Gazette to help them recover. Um, it was um, it was sponsored by my good friend uh, McShane Glover, and um, like all the proceeds of what she gave to that went to uh, the Capitol Gazette. Um, well, I, I hope um, you guys are moved by my piece as much as um, I was moved by and inspired by the people that um, got affected by it. Thank you. Thank you. And, and thank you all for being here. Thank you for joining us at the memorial. The memorial was a state, county, and city effort um, because this event uh, didn't destroy us. It brought us together and um, uh, we will never forget. So this is a small token that will always be in City Hall as the memorial will always be um, down at City Dock. No matter who's in office, that memorial will be there and we'll never forget in this city. Thank you all. So we're gonna see if this comes off I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Brian put it on, so I'm going to blame Brian if it doesn't work. Okay. Would you like no, to try? Yeah. Oh, the the there or some you. Sheila? No. You go ahead. All right.